and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and finally the most awaited month of the year which is the starting point of the retrogression cycles of this year is going to start and it has started and it will kick off from 5th of march all right so march is one of the most important months of this entire 2019 and there are many reasons why i'm saying this all right so we will discuss in short all right and depending on your dasha and depending on your existing horoscope you will see these results will manifest accordingly and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe my videos and if you want a consultation from me regarding how this month is going to play out for you then you could go to my link down and yes before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so march is a very important month because what's happening is the first thing which is happening is the retrogression of mercury in the sign of pisces so mercury's retrograde is going to be retrograde as we know near about in the night of 5th depending on where uh, you calculate it from okay so after that it will be retrograde and it will go back to aquarius and it will be there till almost the end of this month i guess 27 26 27 28 at that time it will be station and it will start going direct after that and now what's happening is mercury is getting retrograde in its sign of debilitation because we know pisces is the sign where mercury gets debilitated so they say that when a planet gets debilitated in the sign where uh, sorry when a planet gets retrograde in its debilitation sign it behaves as if it is exalted not that it gets exalted but it behaves as if it is exalted so now how do you reconcile this see the retrogression means the planet is desiring the seventh house from itself very strongly so this means now mercury is in pisces so it will desire virgo very strongly so it will behave as if it is sitting in virgo and it is acting as if it is identifying with virgo as if not that it is literally sitting because the desire is so strong and then it will not only go retrograde and stay in the same sign it will also go and cross pisces because it it will get retrograde in around very the initial degrees of pisces and then what happen then what happens is it goes and joins sun again and we all know when mercury goes retrograde then it will get combust and then it will go behind the sun again and then again after three months it will get combust and cross the sun and then it goes retrograde again so this keeps happening we know so when mercury gets retrograde and it goes into uh, aquarius back then we will see that um, most of the people are going to focus on the collective big issues which are hampering this world basically so some of the issues which people had neglected during the last one or two months these things will come into highlight because now sun is also there so when sun is there it's like the solar energy is going on focusing from there so that's going to have an effect and when mercury gets retrograde you will see that old friends will contact you before signing any document check it 10 times before signing any contract it, before sending a mail make sure that you put the attachment it could happen that you you send the mail to your boss but there is no attachment so then you will have a bad impression there any mails you are sending to legal authorities be very careful okay double check it cross check it check if somebody is there in cc or bcc check it after that you send and don't give your word to anybody don't make promises during mercury retrograde it's very dangerous and suppose you are changing something then it, then it's recommended that you do a reality check on should you do the change now so for example suppose now mercury is not retrograde it's almost station but suppose now uh, in last 2 weeks 15 days something happened with you in your life and you decided that uh, okay so this is not working so i will change it i'll do something new 
and you decide that after six i will do that so in that case after six suppose you decide to do it on 10th then on 10th you should again cross check it should i do it or not because in mercury retrograde things backfire i have seen all right so that's one thing and the next big thing is that mars and uranus are conjunct and this conjunction will be there for quite a significant time you know almost three weeks because mars has entered bharani nakshatra now and after crossing bharani it will enter first pada of kritika nakshatra and then it will later go to taurus so this month as i had said there are many difficulties which are there in case of bombs and you know attacks as we all know very well what's happening in the current world scenario i will not go into details but i also said that uh this the dates second and third first second and third march are a bit difficult because um the planets moon and venus which signify our happiness and our inner contentment they are very badly hemmed between saturn and ketu so saturn uh, saturn and venus were conjunct and then some venus ketu is conjunct so when venus ketu is conjunct it can happen that we don't feel it is worth enjoying or it's worth finding pleasure in this world it can happen we do not feel that uh, why to do that hard work you know it's not required leave it anyways nothing is going to happen when saturn venus was conjunct we felt that we want to do so many things but we are not able to do so it's like a frustration of the denial of our results but when uh, venus comes in contact with ketu then we could lose the desire itself to do things that would happen but anyways after 6th because rahu ketu is changing signs venus will be out okay of ketu's conjunction and it will be in capricorn for a very long time and then by the as the month progresses by the third week around it will go and join mercury in the sign of aquarius so when venus enters capricorn and it has already entered capricorn recently so that time what happens is our ability to seek pleasure and fulfillment in this life through materialistic objects because venus represents materialistic pleasure it gets too much focused on seeing what the reality of this world is so that is why although venus and capricorn should not get along well but it is still a good placement for venus because when venus enters capricorn we tend to analyze things practically rather than uh, staying in clouds like pisces or cancer or even you know like air signs like gemini or aquarius we 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 get a feeling that this is not happening in my life now these are the steps that i need to take to do this so you will feel if you are a taurus or a libra lagna specifically you will feel this more you will feel that now is the time these around 20 25 days that you will want not to stay on the clouds you will want that i will make the changes necessary which will help me make good choices later on in life because venus deals with choices and sun as we all know is in aquarius and from 15th it will go into pisces and mercury uh, till the entire end of this month although it's direct but it will still stay in aquarius okay so when sun is in aquarius sun and mercury then it's a great time for discussing about collective issues which we generally don't discuss because aquarius is the original 11th sign so because of that what happens there are many issues like in the united nations many things are going on between in india and pakistan so many things are going on now as we all know so why these things are happening now these things were already always there there was always problem in kashmir or between india and pakistan there were problems always from the day of independence of course even before that to be very honest but why is it surfacing so much now because now you could always say that there was this attack but 
even then there has been so many attacks before also but these things did not escalate so much because now what happens is whenever prominent planets in transit go to aquarius then people kind of feel that our existence is dependent on the society if society is there then only we are there so that is why uh, things are gearing very fast and uh, uh, apart from that there is conjunction of uranus and mars so uranus is what uranus is anything which happens sudden so the day uranus and mars were conjunct on valentine's day there was this attack on uh, pulwama which happened we all know that was the day mars had just separated and both were in ashwini so that ashwini is with vehicles and you know cars that theme is visible there and of course i'm not uh, saying that uh, i'm giving some justification using astrology because there are people who asked me to make a video on this so i just made it not that i wanted to make that video and there are also people who have asked me in the comments there that you're such a big idiot if you knew that this will happen you rascal you fool you x y z why you did not tell and the answer is i did not know this will happen <laughs> if i was like somebody like a rishi who knows you know this will happen that will happen then i would have you know called somebody and said that oh you know madam mr prime minister modi mr imran khan this is going to happen that is going to happen there is no way astrology can tell what is going to happen on a larger context it is not possible okay whoever is doing this is simply bluffing because after there is an event it is very easy to justify now i told you that mars and uranus were in ashwini but there are 7 billion people in this world yes there were uh, 40 44 45 46 of the soldiers died but the remaining 7 billion people they did not die and within that 7 billion many people would have died in uh, road accidents many people would have died from cancer many people would have died from heart attack many people would have died from uh, touching a electric pole so just because mars and uranus are conjunct in ashwini doesn't mean that uh, there will be you no know, 10 million people who will die by road accidents or vehicles no it does not mean that that has to be there in your horoscope depending on your dasha only then that will happen otherwise it doesn't happen transits cannot override dasha this is what i have been speaking from ages all right so the answer is i did not know that this was supposed to happen if i would have if uh, lord vishnu or lord shiva or ganesh or somebody would have come in my dreams and they would have told me you know hey mr so and so you know this is going to happen please prevent it then i would have done the necessary uh, what whatever was required but i did not know it all right so the next thing which is happening is in the mid of uh, this month uh jupiter after 16th as i said sun will move into pisces so the solar energy is moving towards the last zodiac sign so there will be a tendency after sun moves into pisces you will see this after especially after 15th that people will uh kind of learn to let go certain things especially governments especially authorities people who are in power because now what is happening is sun is in aquarius and mercury is in pisces so mercury is the thought process so people are not able to process information because mercury is in debility now so after it goes retrograde then it can behave as if it is in virgo but now still it is in pisces remember that okay so so people are confused around the world people are not able to think see when mercury goes into pisces what happens is we know that we should do this but then we feel as if let's leave it to the universe whatever the universe decides let it happen but that's not the right way that is required in a another area another area means krishna says in the gita that do your actions and then don't think of the results but when mercury is in pisces we could have this pessimistic notion that anyways you know nothing is in our hands what is the use of doing just do whatever you want no that's not good krishna did not tell arjuna that just do whatever you want relax you know 
nothing will happen no krishna did not say krishna said Ar- to arjuna that pick up the gandiva and fight okay so that's what happens and now when uh, mercury goes retrograde into uh, aquarius and when it is with venus you will see these things are coming up more but after sun leaves aquarius and goes into pisces you will see that things could come down a bit but till that time mars is in aries where uranus is also there uranus is around 5 6 degrees now and mars is in bharani now it has crossed ashwini so till that time mars when it is in aries you will still keep seeing that hot things are happening and then sun moves into pisces so then things will bit come down but then there's something very interesting which is happening and yeah of course on 6th uh, rahu ketu are changing signs okay uh, ketu is entering the first pada of uttarashada nakshatra within the sign of sagittarius and rahu is entering the third pada of punarvasu nakshatra within the sign of gemini so i have made that video it has got around 25000 views if you have not watched it then please watch it okay rahu ketu 2019 transit and then saturn and ketu will be conjunct so i have also made videos with sanati ji on saturn and ketu's conjunction so if you have not watched it then please go and watch i will not repeat about all this here so now the interesting thing is after 16th what is happening jupiter is entering 29 degrees of scorpio and on end of this around 27 28 the day near around when mercury is going direct that time jupiter is entering sagittarius so now 29 degrees of the uh, water signs which is cancer scorpio and pisces 29 to 30 degrees of these three signs and 0 to 1 degree of the fire signs which means 0 to 1 degree of aries 0 to 1 degree of leo 0 to 1 degree of uh, sagittarius these 6 degrees 3 from here 3 from there these 6 degrees of the zodiac is known as gandanta gandanta literally at a literal sense means something is drowning but it's like saying something is some new thing is coming or it's like sagar manthan okay so lord shiva drank the poison and shivratri is also around the corner so what happens in gandanta is there are knots which are tied which start untwining okay so that's what happens in gandanta it's like see what how how there is a formation of knot you have to understand knot means it's like it's going round and round and round and round and round and round for many 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 days so whichever houses jupiter is ruling in your chart make a note of those houses there are some things which you have been struggling regarding those houses from many 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 days you have been struggling depending on your ascendant suppose jupiter is your lagna lord then your entire life your direction if 10th lord then career 6th lord then job 7th lord then uh, relationships marriage first marriage so regarding those things there are certain steps which you have been taking and you might have felt that as if it is appearing that the issue is getting solved but in reality it is getting more and more complex so now after 16th when jupiter enters gandanta 29 degree of scorpio till the end of this month it will come to the surface the gandanta will start which means the knots will start unwinding which means now you will see there are some uh, changes in those areas physically perceivably literal uh, changes you will see that it is manifesting according all right and on 10th april jupiter is stationing and it is going retrograde in 0 degree of sagittarius 0 point something and then on end of april jupiter is moving back to jeshtha nakshatra scorpio again and it will be there till november of this year and on 38th april saturn is going retrograde but anyways that's a april video which we will make later but 
this is the mars video which i wanted to say so the U mars and uranus conjunction is a bit critical and this month uh, in general is a bit challenging because when mercury is going retrograde rahu ketu are changing signs and when mercury is going direct jupiter is going retrograde around that time so 5th and 28th these two day 27th i would say 5th 5th 6 27 28 these four days are bit critical okay so if you have any major plans to do in those four days then you need to cross check and i'm not care creating fear here that you will die or you will commit suicide or something like i'm not saying that i'm saying that just cross check things okay and especially related to documents and edu education anything to do with studies or you know application or signing documents because mercury and jupiter rules all of these things okay so basically the uh, chaos now starts when mercury goes direct okay so that is all i wanted to say and uh, if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know about mars and if you want a consultation then please go down to my link okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him